Hey, welcome back to the Buckle and Band channel. Now, if you love the Apple Watch as much as I do, you'll know it can do some really magical stuff. And recently, for my personal channel, I reviewed the Watch app for Tesla. So this video is kind of a shortened, cut down version of that review. So if you've got an Apple Watch and maybe you own a Tesla, maybe you don't, maybe you own a different brand of car, you'll be uh, surprised and probably pleased to know that the Apple Watch can actually control many cars. So this video is all about the Tesla. Let's jump into it. Open boot. Now, of course, this is all about speed. Your Tesla app can do everything the watch app can do. But if you're walking towards your car, maybe with your shopping bags, you have to stop, get your phone out of your pocket, unlock it, look at the phone, open the Tesla app, and then access the functions. I know it's kind of like first world problems, but with the watch app for Tesla, you can have a complication on the watch face and just tap that to open your boot, or you can use the Siri commands and just carry on walking with your shopping bags in your hand, which is really, really cool. And one of the main reasons I really like this app. Hey Siri, open trunk. let's take a look at what this app can do. And really, this is the only way to control your Tesla from the Apple Watch itself. So first of all, let's jump in and I'll show you what the app looks like. So you've got the Watch app for Tesla there. When we open it up, you're greeted with the name of your car and the percentage battery that you've got left. You can actually tap this and you get the uh, estimated miles left or the range in your car. So you can see I've got 84% and 277 miles. Next up, we've got the sort of air conditioning that we can turn on or off. We've got the open funk. We've got the lock and unlock button. We've got the open boot. We've got some charging icons here and you can actually change all of these around. You can see the temperature uh, both inside and outside the car and you can see if the car is actually charging. We've got the charge limit as well. Now you can actually add more to this. So um, if we go to the right here, this is where you get all of the shortcuts. So you can see a picture of my car in the background. Uh, obviously you don't have some of these features, so they're grayed out, but you've got home link, the remote start. You can defrost the car, heat seat, uh, seat heaters. You can enable or disable sentry mode. You can vent the windows, vent the sunroof if it had one location of the car, flash the headlights, honk the horn, a compass, which I'll get into in a second, and you can start charging if you're charging at home. Now, if we go into the settings here, you can actually change a few more things. So you've got a control order, and we can actually change or reset the uh, shortcuts that we have there. So depending on what you like, you can change these shortcuts here. There's also more advanced features such as remote start, turning that on and off, and the open features reminder, and the plug-in reminder as well. The next feature that took me by surprise was the ability to actually locate your car and have your Apple Watch direct you towards it. So as you'll see in these shots, you can simply access this compass feature. This will show you where your car is within a big shopping center car park or any car park, and then it will guide you towards your Tesla. How cool is that? So I'm gonna open the watch app for Tesla. And as you can see, there's a little compass on here. And as I turn and rotate my wrist, if I was facing over this way, for example, you can see I'm facing the, the wrong way. If I turn and face the car, you can see it says we're 163 feet away from the car, which means I could then walk to the car to find it. Also, if there's maybe a row of Teslas and you're not sure which one is yours, you can do the flash headlight button. So I'm gonna do that now, tap that, and the Tesla will flash in the distance there like so. So I'll tap it again and we can see that the head's light flash. But as we walk towards the car, it's going to show us exactly where the car is. So the app is £11.99, which, you know, doesn't make it the cheapest app, but it does provide a lot of value. And at the moment, it's the only way you can access these kind of shortcuts on an Apple Watch. Now, when you buy the app, it's worth noting that you also get the app for an iPad, for an iPhone, and for a MacBook Pro or an iMac if you have one of those devices. So this means if you're on your Mac desktop at work, you can check the status of your car without checking your Apple Watch or your iPhone, which is quite cool. Same goes for the iPhone 
and iPad. You get a little widget so you can control your car directly from your iPad screen. You can see your charge limits and all of the things like that, which is pretty cool. Just a nice to know if you thought this was only for your Apple Watch. Now, as with many apps, you can add little complications to the home screen of your Apple Watch. They help change the look of your Apple Watch, but they also give you the shortcuts to your car's features directly from the watch app itself. So this is how you add them on. So I've actually created here uh, an Apple Watch face for Tesla. So if I'm out driving the car, this is the one I have on. So in the top here, you can see I've got the percentage left on my Tesla Model 3, so I can quickly get a glance without going into the app to see how much juice I've got left in the battery. On the left is a shortcut to the Watch for Tesla app. The bottom complication is a shortcut to open the boot, because every day I'll take my bag in and out of work and I'll often open my boot at least two to three times every day, so I like to have that there. I can walk towards the car and just tap it, and the boot opens, which is really cool. And then on the right-hand side is covered up here a little bit by the uh, time of day that we're at now, but you can see it's got the interior temperature of the car and the exterior temperature of the car. So just handy to know in case it's winter or summer and you might wanna cool down your car or defrost it in winter time. So if you wanna add complications to your own Apple Watch, it's really easy to do once you've got the app installed. Hold down on one of the faces that you use or create a new one, then click edit, and then you can tap the complication that you want to change. Simply tap the complication, and then you can change this for another one. Of course, it doesn't need to be a watch app for Tesla complication, but of course, that's what we're talking about in this video. And then all you do is exit that, and it will be saved on the home screen of your watch face. So tapping a button is pretty old school, right? So how about controlling your Tesla Model 3 with just your voice? Open charge port. Well, what's great about this is it enables Siri shortcuts. So you can say things like, hey, open boot, open trunk, start charging, all of the things you would expect to do in your Tesla. And you can control that directly from the watch or the iPhone. So if you wanna set up Siri shortcuts, this is very easy to do, but there is a little step involved. And I'd recommend that you use the iPhone to do this. It just makes it a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is open the iPhone app, as you can see here. We're gonna to go to settings here at the bottom, and then, we're gonna to go to Siri shortcuts. Now you can see here, there's a list of shortcuts and all you need to do is just add the ones that you wanna use. So you don't have to add all of them. If it's just things like uh, closing the charge port you wanna add or closing the trunk, you can just add those ones. So you simply go through, you can see we've got disable sentry, enable sentry, flash, honk, lock, open charge port, open trunk, open trunk, uh, and just all of the um, shortcuts that you would expect. So all you do is simply add the one you want. Now, as you can see, a lot of these are in American English, like closed trunk. Obviously we say boot here, but what you can do is add it to Siri and then you can re-record the command. So you can say closed boot, you can actually say whatever you like and save that and then Siri will recognize that as the shortcut. So I actually think it's probably worth buying the app just to easily be able to add these Siri shortcuts. Of course, there are workarounds if you don't wanna do this, but I just find it very, very simple that you can just add in all of these in an instant and they work extremely well. So what are the downsides to using this app? And there are a couple, they're not big issues in my opinion, but uh, the first one is that of course, this is gonna wake your car up every hour or so to actually get the information so it can pull that in as a complication here on your Apple Watch or your iPhone or iPad. So what I've done is I've actually gone into the settings and instead of waking the car once every hour, I've changed that to once every five hours. Because let's be honest, if your car's at 85%, it doesn't change that much in a five hour period. And it just stops your car getting woken up every hour on the hour throughout the night. Because if you do that, it's gonna cause a little bit of battery drain. So I definitely recommend going into the settings and changing that so your car gets woken up a lot less. But of course, it's still gonna use a little bit of battery power. Now, the second thing I was worried about is because these are so easy to access, I was worried that I would just get back to my car and I would have accidentally tapped a button and the boot would have opened and you know, all of your stuff is nicked out of your car. But what I like about the uh, app is that it does ask you to confirm and it also warns you as well. So if you do open your boot 
and you haven't sort of checked it for a couple of minutes, it will alert you to say that your boot is open or your windows are vented. So it's pretty safe in that respect. I haven't had any issues in the two to three months that I've been using this app. So that's really, really cool. So there we go, that's our shortened review of the Watch app for Tesla. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the Apple Watch, then make sure to check out our other videos up here as we're uploading a ton of tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. And make sure to check out buckleandband.com if you're looking for a luxury new strap for the Apple Watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.